the judiciary might have wasted up to SH 600 million through blunders in the construction of courts across the country, according to the latest report of the Auditor General. The report details instances in Mombasa, Nrek, Ladwar, and Imbu, where questions arose after more than SH 621 million was spent construct or refurbish court buildings. The report says that as much as the judiciary endeavored to take justice closer to the people by putting up court buildings, the process was not smooth and money could have been wasted and the original goal not accomplished. In Mombasa, the judiciary awarded Dam Tax Enterprises a contract in August 2014 to refurbish the building that houses the court. Later that month, the contractor wrote to the judiciary saying that the contracted amount of SH-29 million was wrong, and should actually have been SH-54.7 million, going by the right bill of quantities. No explanation. No explanation was given on how an error of that magnitude could have occurred. Auditors also questioned why the contractor was allowed to get on site more than three months after the contract was signed. Six months after the job started, the county government complained that the contractor was performing poorly. Auditors confirmed that the works were, indeed, of poor quality. The contractor would in September 2015 ask for an extension of the contract, but by the time auditors went there in November 2016, he was still refurbishing the building. The judiciary did not explain the increase in the contract's cost. Value for money because of all these issues, Auditor General Edward Duco reported, he could not confirm whether there was value for money in the projects. In REC, a contractor was given a job to construct the buildings at a cost of SH24.9 million in August 2007. It was to be done in a year, but the contractor abandoned the site and the SH24.9 million is considered lost. New Tender a new tender was awarded in September 2015 at a cost SH 65.1 million, but when auditors went there, no work was ongoing. A separate contract to drill a borehole at a cost of SH 6.5 million was yet to be completed. In the circumstances, the propriety and value for money of the expenditure of SH 90.2 million incurred on refurbishment of NRECLA courts could not be confirmed, Mr. Ruko reported. In La Dour, the judiciary had planned to spend SH 814.9 million on the court building from September 2013 to April 2015. But the job stalled at 27%, with SH 124.5 million paid, and the judiciary could not explain to the auditors how the job was awarded and measures taken against the contractor for failure to meet contractual obligations. A similar project in Embu also ran into trouble. Auditors questioned the payment of the first SH 13 million of the SH 229.3 million contract, the value of some SH 8 million spent on a generator and SH 13.5 million paid for lifts that were yet to be delivered 11 months after they were bought. The judiciary had also not secured a title deed for the land. The report will be scrutinized by the Public Accounts Committee of the National Assembly.